welcome to another episode of Arwen's Meanderings. If you haven't visited my channel before, then click on the link above and that will take you to my channel trailer so you can find out more about this channel. Meanwhile, today's video is all about installing a small electric bilge pump in Arwen, my John Wellsford designed navigator, a 14 foot open boat with a lug sail yawl rig. The video comes in two parts. The first part I'm going to explain the components and what I hope to set up and in the second part of the video um, we look at the actual installation and film me putting it into the boat. So let's get straight into looking at my proposed bilge pump setup. Firstly this is the bilge pump I'm using, a small Whale Orca 500. It is a 12 volt DC pump rated at 500 gallons per hour or 32 litres a minute. It has a current draw of 1.5 amp. It requires a recommended fuse of 2 amp and has a 3 quarter inch or 19 millimetre outlet pipe. Next, I have a small rechargeable 12 volt 7 amp sealed lead USA battery. Unlike many small boat sailors, I haven't gone down the road of installing a larger 12 volt battery on our wing. I tend to use portable power banks and a solar panel to charge my small boat electronics. And if you're interested in this setup, then clicking on the link above will take you to that short video. I've chosen this small USA battery because I want to make this bilge pump setup movable around different parts of Arwen's cockpit, and I'll explain why in a short while. With regard to other components in the setup, I will be using a lock and seal waterproof kitchen food container which will hold the battery, fuse and on off switch. Which leads me nicely to the other final components needed to complete this installation. A 3 quarter inch, 19 mm diameter through hull outlet fitting with a large outlet hole to maximise the flow discharge rate. I'll need a length of smooth bore 3 quarter inch 19 mm internal diameter reinforced plastic piping. I'd avoid the corrugated plastic pipe as this can reduce discharge rates by as much as up to 30%. I'll need various spade and butt crimp connectors along with some heat shrink tubing lengths to help waterproof any wiring connections. There's the 12 volt on off switch. And finally, the piece of plywood already marked out to act as the base for the pump strainer to be attached to. This, of course, still needs varnishing. Lastly, a small 12 volt lead acid battery charger. So there we have the various components, and many of you will have already started to work out what kind of installation I'm aiming for. This simple wiring diagram shows the basic connection setup. Essentially, the battery, fuse and switch will all reside inside or on the lock and seal plastic box. My aim is to make a movable small electric bilge pump system which can be moved about Arwen's separate forward and rear cockpit areas as needed. Which of course now raises the question of why do I need to do this at all? Well, as you can see from this old short clip of Arwen when she was constructed, her cockpit area is basically two sections separated by the central thwarts and lockers. Stored bow down on her trailer on a steeply sloping drive, when rainwater does penetrate her tarpaulin during nasty storms, it collects against the front thwart bulkheads. When out sailing, any spray collects against the centre thwart front bulkhead. And when sailing out in rain showers, Water cascades off the sails and collects basically anywhere. The current bilge pump setup on Arwen comprises of one large bucket, a kayak bilge pump and a small baler. The latter two are slightly awkward to use when out at sea in a shower whilst still sailing. It is my intention to later this year install a whale gusher urchin pump with the removable handle along Arwen's centre case area but it will be in a fixed position in the forward cockpit area. So I want something smaller and easier to use and more mobile, hence this electric setup. The battery box will reside on either side of the front thwart or centre thwart, held against the hull side by bungee cord straps. The bilge pump wooden base will slip into similar bungee strap points mounted at various places around the hull floor area. 
I will show this exact arrangement in part two video. And so there we have it for part one. In part two, we assemble the components in the box, fix the through hole fitting and the bungee clip points, and then we test out the installation. In the meantime, if you have enjoyed part one, why not click subscribe below and join us for other Arwen's Meanderings videos, which you can find arranged in various playlists. Click the link above for my channel trailer and pop across to www.arwensmeanderings.blogspot.co.uk for my associated blog where you can enter Bilge Pump in the search box to pull up the blog associated with this particular video. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you in part two.